Hi, I'm James. You're at the Plantsman's Garden at Blackwood Ridge. Today we're going to be talking about a few of my favourite winter things. Now you might be thinking, well, it's a bit of a dove day. There's not much to do in winter. Well, in the garden there's always something to do. Today we're going to be looking at some of our beautiful things that we have here. Featured behind me, beautiful bark. We've got some colourful conifers we're going to have a look at. Some winter stems with some dogwoods that really, you know, catch the eye. And my favourite thing of all to do in winter, pruning perennials. Anyway, stay tuned. Enjoy. Thanks. Well, winter time is pruning time here at Blackwood Ridge. And we're going to be pruning some salvias today. Uh, looking a little bit messy at this time of year. Winter is a fantastic time to really pull this back into shape. So it is pretty simple. We're really just cutting them down to about 10 centimeters above above their um, base. And just pretty much go in and go for it. And the pruning continues. So what we're going to be doing now is we're pruning back the Tukria marum cat time. And as you can see, all the flowers are spent. And what we want to do is bring this back to a, a nice hedge. We're also going to give the sedums here hot stuff a prune. So let's get cracking. at a beautiful winter highlight in the garden today at Blackwood Ridge. It's one of my favorites, the dogwoods. Now, there's two different types of dogwoods. There's the flowering brack type, and then there's the stem dogwood. And now these are the beautiful stems, as you can see here. This one here is grown for its gorgeous red stems in winter, and the colder it is, the redder they are. This one's Cornus um, Alba Siberica. Now what we've done here in our garden is we've given it a real textural highlight by planting the yellow twig just behind it. Now these beauties um, don't tend to have much of a showy flower, more of a white sort of insignificant flower when they're in, in um, leaf so predominantly are, they are grown for their stems and the way to get the best out of it every year is you have your show like this and then at the end of winter you just give them a beautiful cut back to about that high and then next year you'll have beautiful bright stems again. It's an amazing plant to have that adds a lot of interest against a green backdrop. Where's Dob? Just over there? Yep. Come here, Dob. Tilly! Tilly! Come here, girl. I'm James, you're in the Plantsman's Garden at Blackwood Ridge. Today we're going to be talking about conifers and my co-host here, Tilly, Tilly Dog. Um, conifers are a great thing for, to have in your garden in winter. Uh, what a lot of people don't realise is they have beautiful winter colour, so the cold really brings out the colour. So what we're going to be looking at today is all of our dwarf conifers here at the, at the gardens and the nursery. Um, so let's, let's get it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> no, that one. <laughs>
and we've got a beautiful conifer here called Pinus mugo. And mugo is normally a dwarf, and this cultivar is amber gold. Uh, Tilly's still in the, uh, in the spotlight again. Let's flash around and have a look at her. There she is. Good on you, Tills. Yes, um, and she's just absolutely, she is fascinated with conifers. As not conifers. Um, now, in summer, this conifer actually is quite green, and you'd think, oh, it's rather insignificant, but it is winter that it really just lights up the landscape. You get a bit of sun on it on these sort of cooler winter days, and it just glows in the garden. The last one we're looking at. another sequoia so another um, sierra redwood and this one is also a vestigial form but it's sequoia dendron gigantium pendula and the pendula as you can see comes from the fact that it weeps and it's quite pendulous um, these are beautiful beautiful thing for a sort of backdrop with a very gothic sort of presence about them. This one's about six years old. We're here on a beautiful, sunny, Australian winter's day. And what a beautiful day it is too, with that beautiful bright sun on this very cool day. But you know what? This is a great day for looking at what really pops in the garden. And nothing pops more than coral bark maples with their gorgeous coral stems. They absolutely love the cold winter with those beautiful frosty nights giving you this luminescent colour in winter and they look especially magnificent when they're planted in a group. Wow, just when you thought the coral barks were really beautiful in winter, these gorgeous Jacklemontai birch, and what an absolute amazing sensation they are. Beautiful white bark, again coming off with the frost in winter to reveal this amazing white bark. Now birches, you might have heard, always look, get, always look better planted in a, in a forest. And we thought we'd do that here in the gardens by planting about 75 of them in a group. And as you can see, they really have this winter impact. These are about six years old now, and they're really putting on their show. These are seed grown, so you get a bit of variance, which we like, and all different stages of growth and color to make it look more like a natural forest woodland look, which was a look we were going after. So if you've got a couple of spare spots in the garden, go for it. <laughs> oh, well, we're now cleaning up after that beautiful bit of uh, team effort pruning. I think it's looking a lot better already. Uh, it'll certainly be looking fantastic in the spring. 
So today we've looked at some beautiful, colourful conifers for your garden. We'll also look at some amazing stem dogwoods that really do bring up that interest in winter. And we've looked at a few different um, design aspects with colourful highlights in the garden for winter. Um, we hope you've enjoyed today's episode and we're going to leave you with a bit of winter pruning and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode in spring. Thanks for watching.